Today, I'm happy to announce a coming out of sorts, not for me, but for my gun, the one that I've been working on. Uh, it's, we made a lot of progress on that gun, and uh, today I at least get to show it off. It's still missing a couple of pieces, and it's, um, it is operational. Um, if I had the ammo to shoot it, I would, I would shoot it today. But, uh, but anyway, as people know that, that have been following, I bought a barreled receiver that was supposed to be a Model 94 Pre-64. We'll talk more about what all that means when we do the Winchesters. But let's just say that it, that's not what I got. I got a uh, receiver that was a Model 94 Pre-64. But the barrel that I got was actually a Model 64 barrel, 24 inches, whereas the carbine is 20 inches. This one was 24 inches. It threw me off for a bit. I had to return a bunch of parts, but uh, things have turned around and, and have gotten better. This is a Model 94 Post 64, it was 1970, 30 30 Winchester rifle. The Winchester at one point made the uh, receivers out of this. It's not steel, it's some kind of an alloy to make it real shiny or whatever, but I, I think it. I, I don't like it. So anyway, so this is what my basically this is what my gun would have looked like if I had uh, if that's what if had received what I was told that I would get. Instead, I have this beauty. Okay. And this is a beauty too. I tell you, it uh, it it's better than I had, had hoped it would turn out. Uh, I did my own little customization. And I can see without the, sh the shine. I'll have pictures. <laughs> Look at the shyness. Man. But anyways, I put brass on the uh, magazine. In, I put my, uh, brass on the, the hammer, the trigger, on all the major screws. It should go up. I'll have pictures. And also uh, of the the magazine plug up here at the top, I uh, I brassed that too. And there's the rest of the barrel. It's missing right here. There's a bracket. I have the bracket. I, it has to be uh, uh, soldered on with silver solder, which I think we talked about that already. But uh, uh, I, I just don't have the solder to do it. And uh, I mean, it has to be. I think it have to be up around 2,000 degrees centigrade for it to to uh, to melt, but but once it's on there, it's good, and you can do that with a blowtorch. It just takes takes some time to do that. So, uh, and it's missing the sight hood up here in the top. But other than that, it's good. And, oops. Anyway, so there's the rest. We've got we've got some work to do, but hey. At least it's, it's working right, and, and to me that's that's what the most important thing is. Uh, like I said I, I could shoot it today if I wanted to, but I but I can't because uh, I don't have the ammo for it. But I just thought I'd share this with you. You'll see her. It's I, we named it Frankie after Frankenstein. Some people have said we should name it uh, after that name it Johnny after Johnny Cash when he wrote that song about one part at a time. You know where he built that car. But because uh, that's kind of how this has been, I mean, it's got a uh, four stock for a rifle for a 64 rifle, and it's got a butt stock for a uh, a 94 carbine. I mean, it's just, but hey, it's gonna shoot good. It's got a nice barrel. It's got good rifling in it, and uh, and I built it. So uh, I'll, I'll be back when we get the the rest of it, and and uh, and we'll start talking about Mausers. I want to talk about Mausers, so. Anyway, there you are. Thank you.